So in this video we're going to look at cell replacement. Now all things like the S107 and 6020-1, these have been covered quite well, but this little fella is quite small. As you saw in the video a second ago, it dies, comes back to life, dies, comes back to life. Irritating. Uh, basically the light post fails, so we can go ahead and remove the canopy, the first step. What we fit in is these one of these 70 milliamp uh, zippy cells from hobbyking.com. A very good value, I think they were less than £1.50 each. Uh, of course I got them as part of another order, so I didn't pay shipping for just them on their own. Okay, there's half the canopy off. And for the other half. You can see the stock battery is slightly narrower. And a little longer. Hopefully we'll get this one in. We'll all be good. Quick test fit, and we can see the zippy cell just about fits in there. So it looks like we go to remove the protection PCB from the stock cell and give it a whirl. I can see I managed to slide the insulation back off the stock light bulb. So I'm going to carefully cut that away. Now, here's a little trick for you is to use the weight of the helicopter to remove the circuit board. So what I'm going to do, grab my soldering iron, put a little extra solder on there, and I'm going to lift the helicopter up by the battery, apply the solder. There's one wire off, that's the next one. Yep, nice and easy. The way the helicopter pulls the battery off the circuit board. Now the circuit board is there to protect the battery from overcharging. But if they're not, just make sure that the red wire goes back to the same tab. Now this battery came off upside down. So this is the positive, little insulation there. So I'm going to tin these contacts and then get on with reattaching up the PCB. This simple little step is called tinning. It's where you add solder to the surfaces or the wires that you're about to connect. Now, some people don't think it's important, but I feel it's very important. So what you can do then is when you get the surfaces together, you can just touch them, add a little bit of heat, and the joint's done. Instead of going to melt the solder on there and possibly damage components. So you see the tapes up friend again. Hold the wire in place. There he goes. That's packaging back up. Okay, so I've insulated the terminals there, got on half the canopy back on. What I've realised is that you need to put a protection board closest to the main board for it to fit. Let's say it's slightly wider than the original cell. Seems quite happy with the new zippy cell. Very punchy. And happy flashing away there. Stay tuned for more videos.